of the worst things about dancing on ice are that it's cold and the ice is slippy. And that is the best and the worst thing, actually. Both, both those things. I spent so much time being cold. Also, I actually was the reserve on the show. So I think the show went to air beginning of January and I started actually skating on the first week of December. So I didn't get any of the training. Best thing about that was that I was completely and utterly ignorant. And in that way it was great because it taught me how to say, I have no idea how to do this, you have to help me. They would say things like, okay, so we're standing on the edge of the rink now and you're going to skate out to the middle of the ice and stop. And I'd go, um, how? <laughs> I didn't know how to go out there. I mean, even if you do anything, if someone says, do you walk on a stage, you could walk. we have been doing it since you were a toddler. Um, but I couldn't even do that. Um, and when I first started, when I first ice skated, or they said to me, uh, would you do this? And I said, no, I can't skate. But I did go along to a rink just to have a try. And my husband came with me and he said, would it be highly entertaining for all the wrong reasons? So I had not taken it seriously until in that December they said to me, okay, now we want you to do the show. I absolutely loved it. I, it's like people when they say they go into the jungle would never do it again. I, I would never do it now because I think there's so much expected, whereas all we expected was to stay upright. As a team, we were all really supportive. There wasn't this competitive nature that there appears to be now. We were all very supportive. And I just had an absolutely great time doing something I never, ever thought I would do. I love the idea of playing Lady of the Lake, but I thought, well, I never thought I would do it because I always thought that the Lady of the Lake had to be this tall, statuesque, goddess-type woman. I don't actually put goddess, and certainly not tall and statuesque, in my category of things I can do. Tall, definitely not, unless someone gives me a stepladder. And uh, so it was a surprise to be uh, approached about doing it. But everything I'd heard about Spamalot was just that it was great fun. And I looked at some of the clips on YouTube, and I listened to the CD, and I thought, this sounds hilarious. And I was right. Cats or Chicago? Chicago. Doctor Who or Dancing on Ice? <laughs> dancing on Ice, I think. <laughs> Singing or dancing? Uh, I can't choose, I can't choose, I can't choose! Uh, 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 dancing singing. <laughs> West End or Broadway? Broadway. Summer or Scarlet? <laughs> I can't say. I can't do that! I've got Zizi and Sassy as well, and Danny and Dommy and Dexter's. I've got hundreds of people in my family, I cannot pick one!